Hi, I'm Deb Marie. Welcome to Perfumes with Deb Marie. In today's video, we're going to go over some Swiss Arabian perfume samples. I have a five sets of uh, Swiss Arabian perfume samples. They come in little sets like this. I bought the um, women's perfume sample. Uh, it's the perfect the perfect mix sample. So um, we'll go over each one and give a first impressions. So let's get started. The first one we're going to go over is called Wajd, Wajd, W-A-J-D. This has notes of Turkish rose, fruity, apple, patchouli, orris, amber, balsam, musky, sweet. I'm going to spray them on these little cards um, because if, with all these, if I spray too much in the air, I won't be able to tell which scents which after a while. Uh, let's see, the little sprayer. Hmm. It's, it's pretty. Definitely can smell the rose and the patchouli and the amber. Very pretty. The next one we will go over is Casablanca. Casablanca has ripe grapes, sweet apple, patchouli, orris, blonde wood, amber, Peru balm, musk, suede, and liquid caramel. I know this one is really, really popular. A lot of people have purchased this one that I've seen on YouTube and have done reviews on it. It sounds really beautiful. I haven't smelt it yet. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set aside the ones that I like. And then at the end of the video, I will let you know which ones that I plan on uh, purchasing full bottles. This one's interesting. It is pretty, but it's not very, to my nose, I can't smell it real well. Not real strong. It's very pretty. You definitely can smell the apple and the caramel. It's, it's sweet, but we're not going to do full reviews. This is just first impression. Very pretty. I do like this one. Next one is called Nouf, N-O-U-F. This one has amber, cedar, rosewood, pepper, bergamot, grapefruit, and lemon. Mm, this is very, very pretty summer scent. Um, mm, I, I do like this. Uh, do it almost has a little bit of the, um, uh, like the pledge lemon scent, but it kind of goes away. I do like this. Definitely lemon, grapefruit, summery scent. I do like this one. Uh, the next one is Garam. It is spelt G-H-A-R-A-A-M. Garam. Notes of jasmine, saffron, amber, fur resin, fur resin, <laughs> and cedarwood. Hmm. Trying to. Must be the saffron. It must be the saffron that I'm smelling. Definitely can smell saffron. And it's got a, mm, that jasmine. I don't smell a lot of woody notes in this. Um, the next one is Hayam, H-A-Y-A-A-M. I, I, I know that I'm probably butchering these names. Um, this one is lemon, Irish clove, Leather, woody, amber. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Mm. Def 
definitely smells more on the masculine side. This one definitely can smell the clove, lemon, leather for sure. Definitely can smell the leather. Hmm, not bad. Interesting. That one's very interesting. So moving on to the next pack. The next, the first one of the next pack is Oud MacNoon. This one is listed as a unisex um, fragrance. It has pepper, rose, agarwood, amber, and musk. Hmm. Very, it's peppery. Very interesting. It's uh, very definitely can be worn by a man and woman or a woman. Very peppery for sure. The next one is Shag Off Oud. This one is listed on their website as a unisex. Um, for your information, I did get all the notes from their web, directly from their website. Um, Shag Off Oud has uh, saffron, rose, oud, praline, and vanilla. Now this one I have smelled before and I really like this one. This one is so beautiful. It's, it smells just like Lancome oud bouquet. But to me, it's a little lighter the uh i do have lancome oud bouquet lancome oud bouquets to me a little um more heavier than this one but this one's very pretty definitely you can smell the saffron a little bit in it and the rose and oud it's got um the praline vanilla it, it's very pretty i do like this one next one din din El Oud Malachi. This one has leather, animalic, and woody. Hmm. And that's exactly what it smells like. Leather, animalic, anim animalic, and woody. That's what it smells like. The next one we have is Shaghoff Oud Oswa. This is listed as a woody oriental. It has musk, sandalwood, leather, agar wood, amber, vanilla, coriander, cumin, rose, jasmine, patchouli, saffron, and thyme. This one actually has a lot of notes in it, a lot of interesting notes. Hmm. This one is really, really complex and interesting to me. Definitely um, can smell the leather. I think I can smell the coriander. I love to cook with coriander. I, I, I uh, do like coriander. Maybe some thyme. This one's very complex and interesting. Hmm. The next one is cat deer, K-H-A-T-E-E-R. This one has mint, amber, pepper, vetiver, rose, vanilla, oak moss, and oud. Ooh, the lid was on there pretty tight. Hmm, can't smell this one. Can't smell this one very well, so we're going to give it another shot. I can smell the mint. This one's interesting as well. Definitely mint. These all have very interesting notes and they smell really, actually, they all smell really pretty good. I mean, some of them probably are not really my taste or ones that I wouldn't go for, but I'm sure somebody would enjoy them. This one's mint. Now I can smell it a little bit more. Definitely the amber, the vanilla. 
and some of the oud. So the next pack, the first one we're gonna go over is called Whisper. This one is floral fresh, floral with fresh notes. These notes are straight off the website. So it does say fresh notes, fruity notes and musk. This one, um, oh, this one is really pretty. Definitely fruity notes, floral notes, fresh. This would be nice for uh, summer. This um, perfume house has the most beautiful bottles. I, um, I'm going to try and put the bottles, um, pictures up here when for each one that I read off, but their bottles are just, I think they're just beautiful. Um, so Whisper's fresh, it is what it says, floral, fresh notes, fruity notes, and, and musk. The next one is Rashika. This one is rose, fresh green, fresh green notes, jasmine, aldehydic, lily of the valley, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. Hmm. Very, you can smell that aldehydic for sure. It has that very powdery bit of the green notes. And I'm thinking some musk and some rose. Oh, definitely rose. Mm, you can smell the rose. The next one is Valen Valencia. This one is listed as a unisex. I have um, heard some reviews on this one. This one has lemon, bergamot, apple, rose, jasmine, gardenia, peony, powdery notes, amber, sandalwood, and musk. Oh, this is, this is really nice. I wonder if that's what Valencia smells like. Is there a city named Valencia? I'm not sure. I think there is. Valencia or is it Florence? But this is pretty. You definitely can smell the lemon and the apple. It's got a bit of, this one, it's kind of like summery, but but fall too. Oh, I do like it. Very pretty. Very interesting. Next one is called Crystal Rose. This one I love the bottle. The bottle is really pretty. Um, this one is, uh, they have it listed as a one that's more feminine, uh, geared towards women. But I mean, man or woman can wear any of these. I mean, I don't think really in, since there is a gender preference. I think that anybody can wear any scent that they want. Um, the notes in this are water notes, lemon, fresh notes, rose, caramel, white musk, vanilla, and cedar wood. I really like this one. Gosh, I think this is close to one of my favorites other than the shag, shag off, ooh, very pretty. Very fresh, does definitely water notes. You smell, um, not getting the caramel much. Musk, rose, very pretty. And then the last one in this third pack is Sir, Sir Al Sheila. This one has agarwood, fresh spicy, rose, patchouli, and vanilla. Hmm, this one is pretty. I have heard uh, a couple of reviews on this, um, the Sir Al Sheila. I, don't, I know a lot of people really prefer and do like this one. And you know, this one is really interesting. Definitely um, can smell the rose. 
and the vanilla. It is really pretty. Once it starts drying down, it it's very pretty. So the fourth pack, the first one is called Anara Oud. This has valerian, saffron, lychee, rose, peach, raspberry, vanilla, agarwood, and teakwood. Can't get the sprayer to work. There we go. Oh, that's not what I thought it would smell like. Straight off, I can smell the saffron in it. I'm not real sure what valerian smells like. I've never smelled valerian. So it could be that that is prominent that I'm smelling as well. Not smelling the peach and rose, maybe a little bit of the peach, but definitely woody. This is a very interesting one. Very interesting. The next scent, actually the next one, um, <laughs> Just because of the name, I was like, I hope this one smells really good because it's called Wild Spirit. Um, the name just kind of grabbed me. I thought Wild Spirit, I'm kind of a wild spirit. So um, I hope it smells good. That's what I was thinking. I hope it's not, I mean, they all smell good, but I hope it's one that, uh, uh, that I think that I would reach for. The notes are orange, green, bergamot, Tuberose, jasmine, fruity notes, vanilla, uh, sandalwood, orris, and musk. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this one smells good. Oh, it is so beautiful. You definitely can smell the orange and the tuberose. Oh my gosh, the bergamot. <sighs> yeah, this one is really pretty. I think that this is definitely one of my favorites. The next is a shag, shag off, the clear gold shag off. And it's shag off for women. But again, a man can wear it. Anybody can wear any scent, like I said. Oh my gosh. I like this. This one is really pretty. It's cedar musk, apple peony, praline, lemon, and lime. I do like this one. This one is really pretty. Probably this one and the wild spirit are, are more uh, like feminine. Um, very pretty. Um, definitely the apple and peony you can smell in this and the lemon and lime. I like this one. The next one is called Royal Mystery. This one's fruity, melon, pear, freesia, rhubarb, patchouli, and amber. Ooh, this one is pretty too. This one is a great summer scent. Yeah, you can smell the melon and pear. Definitely the freesia, a little bit of patchouli in there. Oh, I love patchouli. This one smells really good. This is a very spring summer scent. The last one in this pack is called Anara. This one is bergamot, mandarin, rose, peach, cassis, Jasmine, sandalwood, cedar, benzoin, patchouli, and musk. It's got a lot of interesting notes in it. Ooh. Ooh, Anara. You smell beautiful. I like Anara. Now we're getting to some of the ones that I really, really enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy Anara. She smells uh, rose. You can definitely smell the peach. Jasmine, very, very beautiful. Mm, I like that one. Okay, so the last pack, 
we are going over the first one in the last pack we finally got to the last pack is called miss edge this one has bergamot green leaves rhubarb peony lily of the valley gardenia powder mossy amber vetiver musk this one has a lot of notes in it oh we very summer this reminds me of when i used to go to visit my grandma on my mother's side in kansas oh it just smells just like that it must be the lily of the valley and the gardenia the peony green leaves it's very green very oh, very summery it reminds me of like going to Kansas with the little lightning bugs in the evening and just smell green and beautiful oh, I like this Miss Edge Ooh, you're stunning too the next one is called Hamsa this one is orange blossom mandarin make sure I got the right one orange blossom mandarin gardenia rose honey vetiver Boy, we're really getting into the ones that I really like. One thing I like about this line is they're very affordable. Oh, this one's pretty too. Very pretty. Definitely, you can smell the orange blossom and the honey. Oh my gosh. And the rose. Pretty. I like that one. So the next one is Al... Um, a Megan. This one has bergamot, black currant, passion fruit, vanilla, jasmine, peony, cedarwood, patchouli, and musk. Oh, this one's pretty too. Mm. Definitely passion fruit, vanilla. Mm, this one is very pretty as well. Next one is called Edge Intense. This one has iris musk, sandalwood freesia, magnolia peony, apple, green notes, rose, and tangerine. This one's pretty as well. These are usually really affordable. They have some on the um, that are up in the $100 range, but the majority are really affordable. But I do like this one. I do like Edge Intense as well. And then the last one that we have is called Edge. This one's Freesia Rose, Green, Peony, Jasmine, Sandalwood, and Musk. Let me make sure I don't shoot myself in the eye. This one is pretty, but not as good as the Edge Intense. Uh, the Edge Intense I do prefer more. So now I have set several aside more than I had intended to set aside. So but the top that I will do plan on pur purchasing is Edge Intense, Miss Edge, Anara, Shaghoff Oud, Shaghoff Clear, Wild Spirit, Got to refresh my memory. So the ones that I do plan on purchasing is Casablanca, Wild Spirit, Shagoff Clear Gold, Shagoff Oud, Anara, Miss Edge, definitely, and Edge Intense. Now, I did set some others aside that I thought were pretty good. Um, Anara Oud, Crystal Rose, Valencia, Sh um, the Shagoff Oud um, I, is one that I'm going to keep or purchase full bottle. Noof, Whisper, Sa Sir El Sheila, Royal Mystery, Alamakian, and Hamsa. Those ones uh, have intrigued me. I thought that the notes were interesting and they did smell pretty 
um, interesting to me. They're ones I'm gonna set aside and put on my wish list um, and maybe get one day. I'll put them on my wish list and uh, see where it goes from there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed me going over the Swiss Arabian, uh, the perfect mix perfume samples. And um, I hope to see you next time. Thank you. See you again. Bye.